We know sitting and clutter are both bad for us. Let's take care of both at once. This is the second day of my seven-day declutter challenge. The only rule is to choose from a few minutes to a few hours, whatever time you have to get up and clean every day. Be sure to subscribe if you want to keep up with what I'm doing. I'll first share six tips to get you moving and then share my live reaction from the cleanup. It's a great way to let go and learn about hoarding habits. I started on December 10th, 8 p.m. and ended on December 11th, 12 a.m. cleaning for approximately three hours. Change is hard, especially in the beginning. We have a lot of internal negative fears of failure, especially when the tasks are overwhelming and out of control. No matter how much we think or plan, things will not magically complete themselves. We have to start doing something. Things will collect from piles to mountains, adding fear to fuel further procrastination. Just take a step forward. Do more, think less. The act of doing mutes internal noise. The most important and hardest step is the first step. Make it easy for yourself to get a taste of success. By taking tiny steps, you will be immediately rewarded with a grain of success. After my first day decluttering, I felt a sense of freedom that lingered throughout the next day. With the minimal effort, I gained a weird sense of accomplishment that released me from my fear of clutter. It felt good to keep my promise to myself. By breaking hard tasks into short goals with small daily steps doesn't seem so difficult to achieve. For me, overthinking and fear kept me from doing things. I spent a lot of time worrying and avoiding. Now I just concentrate on the simple goal of not sitting down after dinner to clean for 7 days. If you feel bad or can't throw something out, don't do it. You may need more time to let it go. Just because you are decluttering, you don't have to throw everything out just to prove you can. You may regret it later. It is better to gradually realize what you need and what you don't need realistically as you declutter. As time progresses, you will know what works best for you. My main goal is to make my spaces functional and I would only donate or toss things out when I was 100% sure I would not miss them. If all else fails, I concentrate on cleaning dirt and garbage only. Cleaning my sleep room made me realize my room decorations froze since the days of my elementary school. Here are some examples. While I was less than 12 years old, shopping for groceries with my mom in Chinatown, I stared at this cute little bunny. I usually don't ask for toys. My mom saw me and got it for me right away. It doesn't have much uses and purposes. I've enjoyed it all throughout my childhood and adulthood, so I'm ready to let it go. These little things that I keep that I think is cute back then, it was actually a box. But I liked it back then, and I still kind of like it. I don't know why I keep these kind of things. Um, because I, I normally will not buy any decorations, but maybe this is okay. I might keep this. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't know. Why is it so hard? This was a drawing that I did with one of my high school friends. It doesn't really look like us, but I kept it for so long. It's been up there for so long. Like. And the poster right here, this is like my first, first ever music idol. And this was given to me by one of my best friends when I was in grammar school. I actually don't like Dalmatians out of all the dogs. But because she gave it to me, I kept it for so long. And this guy, he was my first, first ever idol especially in Chinese as well I was really into Chinese music back then I started with him and listening to him what he has in his hands is a little puppet I'm not sure if you can see it I actually was so into him that in my arts and crafts class I made a little puppet I never really painted the the, the faces in the puppet and I never got any strings on the puppet i was so into him he's really cute but the thing is it's really sad he had a really successful career that at the end he actually killed himself it's kind of sad i can understand why he really lacked a lot of 
warmth from family. He said he never actually spent over more than five days or something like that with his family. And that's really sad because his dad was a businessman who travels a lot and he had several wives. His mom was very distant with him. Poor guy. I mean, back then I didn't really know much Chinese. I can't read the entertainment news that talks about him. I was just really sad because I just got to know him. And then all of a sudden I heard the news that he killed himself. He had really severe depression. That's what ended his life. Yeah, it's really sad. It is kind of melancholy to always have him still up there um, in my room. So I'm going to take him down and this poster down as well. I think I'm going to donate this poster, but I'm still going to keep his, him in my collection, but rolled up for now. I have several other posters of him rolled up, um, but I kept this one up for a long while because he looks really happy and more childish, more like the, the original joy that you would have when you were a child. So yeah, so I'm going to take the, these down and have a fresh start so I don't look like I'm frozen in time with my uh, decorations. So here's the poster. In case you're wondering what these are, I valued these posters so much I didn't want to get pins in them. I didn't want to make holes in them so I made these little triangles and I would pin both of the sides with a pin like this on either side so I wouldn't I wouldn't like puncture the poster itself this is what I did with all my posters and yeah so I'm going to have to let these go um, I don't know why I'm so sentimental with these <laughs> these things but it's just like everything I do like even like th I, this is just a poster and people would just throw this away and it would be a fad for them but for me like when I like something I just keep it forever and ever and I don't even want to do any sort of damage to to them and I think this one it was by accident that I made a hole in this one but oh well yeah it's old and he's gone and not that yeah yeah so here's the the little little puppet he has in his hands and i will maybe someday find this well i know where it is it's in the mess room uh, but i'll show you someday when i get to that room here are some odd things that i found in my room today it's like an old floss thing that I hardly ever use but I tried to fix it up so I could put regular floss on this thing but it just never worked out very well. I spent a lot of energy carving this little notch in there to create a, you know, so because these things will, will like, if you, you change it, you snap it out like this here so here's a, the piece that snaps out of here like this this piece here and you replace it like you use this only once and it's it has originally have a piece of floss right here so you would throw one of these away every single time and I thought that was so wasteful so I tried to create something that was reusable by using just regular floss and you would just use uh, the amount of floss that goes ra that wraps around this piece and then that way you just use you're, you'll be actually using less floss because usually if you use floss by itself you have to um, create a really really long piece but I think it didn't work it wasn't very sturdy so it doesn't work it doesn't really work um, so maybe I'm just gonna toss this because even though 
it was an experiment that I tried, and I don't know, <laughs> it didn't work out. I tried to lessen the use of floss, and I tried to lessen the extra disposable pieces that you would have to throw into the trash every single day. I'm really bad at using up all my natural products and just regular products as well. I'm not, I guess I get them, but like this one, it kind of expired. This vitamin E oil just turned rancid before I could finish it. And this, I bought it. It was a set and I never really finished using it and th this was part of the other lotion brand that I mentioned before so and I'm not sure what this is it's some sort of ointment maybe I got from the doctor for some reason but I don't really remember I don't even know what this is for yeah I have to ask my mom if it belongs to her this is from a blow dryer that's that's already been thrown out and this was from ages and ages ago which i probably took full pictures of it no place will develop pictures anymore so unless i want to spend the energy to develop it myself which i don't have any tools to do and it's probably too complicated another one that i, I found years ago and i did develop it but the pictures didn't ever turn out so these are definitely items that are going away. I do a lot of DIYs, but I don't know why they're in my room. This is a attempt at creating an eyeliner, charcoal eyeliner with burnt almond charcoal. And this is, was a container for my beetroot powder. I took the powder out to grind it more, but I never put it back and it's still in the grinder or like mortar this is some sort of lotion that i created with some shea butter i never used it it's just kind of been left there it's like my failed attempts at a puma stone <laughs> i have no clue why it's in my room and this is also another diy that i had used up made out of dionysius earth was to keep the spiders out so i know i paint the floors with it but then i never put it back where it should belong so i'm gonna clean these out these are going to have to be clean these are lightly used toothbrushes that i think i used to clean my sewing machine so that should probably go into the sewing machine because it's not really used but uh, we like to keep toothbrushes for uh, used toothbrushes so um we can clean uh, nooks and crannies with them they're really good at scrubbing things and i have this pencil that i'll put back in my pencils and used loofahs that i will use for cleaning tops as well so that's the frugal me these are things that are reused today was a tough day i didn't want to throw away anything i guess that's okay whatever i got rid of was truly what i wanted to now my room and all the surfaces are free of dust i know what's in every box and bag thanks for watching all the way to the end see you in the next video